Project Blue Book? Andrew Garner. Captain Michael Quinn. Alan Hynek. Sorry for the cloak and dagger. It's really for both our benefits, given all the prying eyes in the city. Garner? How do I know that name? Oh, I've been around Washington a long time. The State Department, Defense? I don't like to limit myself. Are you the man I spoke to on the phone? Yes. Although I uh, should have been more clear I'm here on behalf of someone else. Who's that? Can't disclose that yet. What I can disclose is that if you do what I say, you will have the chance to testify at a public congressional hearing that will finally expose the truth about flying saucers. I represent someone who believes, like you do, there's a conspiracy going on, the highest level of the government, to cover up the existence of extraterrestrial life. And he thinks it could not only cost us the Cold War, but our long-term security as well. What do you want from us? I want you to know you have a friend in Congress willing to put his neck out for you. If you can deliver more proof of a cover-up. Deliver proof? Oh, you want us to spy on our own government? Captain, were you aware that two weeks after your encounter in D.C., an Air Force pilot chased a similar set of lights in Tacoma, Washington? Only when his plane spun out of control, he died. That could have been you. Which means it's only a matter of time before it happens again. And given the Cold War climate right now, all it will take is for some trigger-happy general to convince a new administration that it's Russian stripping our radars. And we're in the middle of World War III. Those are classified sightings that didn't get reported to Blue Book. They are being held as Exhibit A in the march to war. These all took place at military bases. That's right. Where'd you get these files? <clears throat> Gentlemen, the man I represent thinks that exposing the truth can bring this world together, not pit us against each other. Which means your work has the chance to not only save lives, but change the course of human history. Project Blue Book? Professor, this is Senator John F. Kennedy. How are you today? Senator Kennedy? Hello, I'm, I'm fine, sir. Thank you. Uh, how are you? Is Captain Quinn with you? Uh, yes, sir, right here. Captain, I've been uh, eager to introduce myself, given the great work your program has been doing. Why, thank you, Senator. D.C. especially could have been disastrous. Uh, what were those lights again, Doctor? Uh, temperature inversions. Temperature inversions, yes. And that's what you saw up there in that plane, Captain. Yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, now both of you are lying to me. I'm not sure if you were aware, but uh, Secretary Fairchild was a friend of mine. Considered me uh, a protege of sorts, actually, so he shared a lot of secrets with me, including on his last night in D.C. He told you about the film? That's right. What else did he say? That he trusted you and he believed in the sightings, as I'm guessing you do as well. Well, Captain Quinn and I, we believe that uh, until we have real answers, science and observation are the, the best way forward. I couldn't agree more. Gentlemen, thank you. Uh, hopefully, we'll be in touch before long. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Senator. What do you make of that? I wonder if we just found out who Garner's working for. Mail's here. Thank you, Faye. So, let's say Garner is working for Kennedy. Where's Kennedy getting his information from? And I wonder how much more he knows that we don't. What's that? Blue Book. This is John. It's been six months, but I managed to get you the proof that you were looking for. John, Hangar 18? Officially, I don't exist. I thought the generals got to him. 
Apparently not. Use this key to see for yourselves. They've cleaned house. I'm wondering if there was ever anything here to begin with. Maybe the general set us up. See what we do. So what's our next move? I really don't know. 